Jonesboro's community radio station. Your life, your music. KLEK 102.5 FM. Good Wednesday morning, Jonesboro. This is me, Raul, just Tim Root, with your KLEK 102.5 forecast. Occasional rain today and tonight, maybe an inch or two. And the temperature is in the mid-40s during the day, and the overnight temperature 35 to 40. There might be some isolated flooding. I think the clouds will be thinning out Thursday, partly sunny skies developing around 40. Northwest wind, 10 to 20. It looks like those temperatures will be chilly on Friday, 32 to 38 for the high, mostly sunny. Your life, your music, we're KLEK, 1 to 2.5 FM. From Feature Story News in London, I'm Ollie Barrett. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders has won the New Hampshire primary. Around 300 people at DBS Bank in Singapore have been evacuated after a worker fell ill with coronavirus. The death toll in China is now over a 1,000. A Russian government commission is proposing making President Vladimir Putin a senator for life after he steps down. And the UK's broadcasting watchdog Ofcom is going to be given extra powers to tackle harmful content online. Psalm 112 verses 6 through 10. For the righteous will never be moved. He will be remembered forever. He's not afraid of bad news. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steady. He will not be afraid until he looks in triumph on his adversaries. He has distributed freely. He has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. His horn is exalted in honor. The wicked man sees it and is angry. He gnashes his teeth and melts away. The desire of the wicked will perish. This is Psalm 112 verses 6 through 10. The Bible, the scripture interprets itself. So once I'm doing the will of God, there's nothing the enemy can do against me. And it will work. Be blessed. It's 802. KLK 102.5 FM. Good morning to you on your Wednesday. It's February 12th, 2020. This is your Wednesday morning Bible study. We have Good Reverend morning. Dr. Greg Ota in the studio with mm-hmm. us. And today we are going to talk about obedience. Mm. This is your Wednesday morning Bible study. Okay, LEK 102.5 FM. Good morning. Let us pray this morning. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you this morning, humble as we know how, grateful for this time with your word and your people. Thank you for blessing us with this day. Bless all listeners and those that are going to watch online. Take all the glory, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We're talking about obedience. Obedience is one of these things that we think is a suggestion. We want God's blessings, but we don't want to obey. We think because we... We, we, we are wired a certain way. Some things we don't have to do. Everybody else can do it, but I'm, I'm wired differently. I, I, I beg to differ with that. God is the one that created every human being that's breathing, that's walking on the face of the earth, that have their head on top and their feet below. Everyone that God made looks the same. The coloring of the skin might be different. So his commandments are for us to obey so we can be blessed. So that tells me, I. why do we need to obey God? Uh, Deacon Kale, you're going to help me this morning. And it brings us to our first verse, which is Deuteronomy 28, 1, and it reads, And it shall come to pass, mm-hmm. if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, mm-hmm. to observe and to do all his commandments, mm-hmm. which I command thee this day, uh-huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. Okay, so he said it shall come to pass. Only God says and it comes to pass. If I say it, it won't come to pass. So it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord. Now, not number one, to observe. Number two, to do. All, not some, his commandments, which are commanded this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. That's God speaking. So if you will hearken, if you will observe, if you will do what he tells you to do, he will set you above all nations. So it is commanded, Exodus 19.5. And Exodus 19, 5, and it reads, 
Now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure mm -hmm. unto me above all people. Mm -hmm. For all the earth is mine. Okay. In Psalm 24, verse 1, he, he talks about everything that exists belongs to God. I'm paraphrasing. I'm paraphrasing. Read it for yourself. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And those that dwell in it. That's Psalm 24, verse 1. So it says here, Now therefore, if you will obey my voice, will, 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 if you will. So it's your choice to obey. But if you obey, what is the result of my obedience? He said, if you obey my voice and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above, above, above all people. For all the earth is mine. So God set it up one and puts down another. That's scripture too. So my obedience determines where God places me. Hmm. My obedience to his commandments determines where God places me. So again, this is responsibility. I want God to bless me. I take, responsi I take responsibility for what he has asked me to do. I don't look to see what Deacon Kelly is doing or what Reverend this is doing or Dr. Daddy. No. I just, when I hear God's voice, it's my responsibility to obey it for him to bless me. Amen? Amen. All right, number two. Why do we need to, to obey God? His commandments are not grievous. First John 5, 3. For this is the love of God, mm -hmm. that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. So if, 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 okay, let me, let me, let me, let me take this thing slow. For this is the love of God. What is love? Love is putting everybody else's needs above yours. The Bible says that God so loved the world he gave. He gave his only begotten son. The world was lost of being lost. And God gave his son to bring them back. So it says here, for this is the love of God. Because God loves me, he gave me commands for obedience. Oh, hear this. That means because if left to myself, I'm going to destroy myself. So he says, I'm going to give you commands to tell you how to live this life so I can richly bless you. But the commands he gives me are not difficult. Mm. They're not difficult. If you obey the commandments of God, they're not difficult. If the Spirit of God is with you. Number three, he first loved us. I just talked about love. That brings us to 1 John 419. 419. We love him. Because he first loved us. So he, is, that, is he, that where we got our congr uh, uh, congregation of him from? Yeah. I thought so. Yes, sir. We love him because he first loved us. He loved us first. We need to return the love. How? Everything we needed, he gave us first. Before we even knew we needed it. Now that we, we found out we needed it, we need to love him back for taking care of us. Amen? So obedience is... An expression of love. In First John, no, John fourteen fifty says, "If you love me, you obey my commandments." That's Jesus speaking. Let me leave that alone. So, what are the benefits of disobedience? Uh, we just, I mean, this is, <laughs> this is on the lighter side of this lesson. Obedience. This is, this is, this is for Christians or people believers in Jesus Christ. Jesus obeyed unto death. That's why you and I have salvation. The things he told us to do, he has already done the hard part. All we got to do is follow his steps. It's easier, folks. Abraham didn't have somebody to direct him. Nobody had died for Abraham before. God gave him commandment. We are better. We are in a better position than Abraham because Jesus came and showed us how to do this thing. A little easier than Abraham, Jacob, and the rest of them had it. So what are the benefits? We receive blessings. Isaiah 119. If ye be willing and obedient, mm -hmm. ye shall eat the good of the land. Okay. So, number one, I have to be willing. Then I have to be obedient. Then I shall eat the good of the land. Simple. Deuteronomy verse, uh, chapter 28. Just read verse 2 and then read verse 12. Okay. I was sure one. That's, that's a lot of verses. Yeah. Well, all right. Two. Verse two is, uh -huh. and all these blessings shall come on thee, mm -hmm. and overtake thee, and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Twelve, the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, 
the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, mm -hmm. and to bless all the work of thine hand, mm -hmm. and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. He says, all these blessings shall come on thee. Not only will they come on me, they will overtake me. So before I have a need, it's already met. As I'm having a flat tire, I'm getting a new tire. No borrowing. Hmm. So the blessings of God are contained in his commandment. Soon as I obey them, the blessings I need comes my way when I need them. Number two benefit, God will fight your enemies on your behalf. And brings us to Exodus 23, 22. Mm -hmm. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies mm -hmm. and an adversary unto thine adversaries. Okay, so leave that there for a second. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice, what is his voice? His voice is his will. His will is his word. Amen? Amen. And do all that I speak. Everything that I spoke and is written down in the Bible, you're supposed to do. Then, only then, will I be an enemy unto your enemies. Until you obey God, God is not the enemy of your enemies. And an adversary unto thy adversary. So even Satan has to get permission from God to touch you when you are in obedience. Amen. Is that simple enough? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So number three, you will be the head and you'll be above only if you obey God. Benefits of obedience. And that takes us to Deuteronomy 28, 13. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. Uh -huh. And thou shalt be above only, mm -hmm. and thou shalt not be beneath. Mm -hmm. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee to this day to observe and to do them. And the Lord shall make thee. God himself will make you the head and not the tail. So what is the head? What is the, what is the significance of the head? The head is what tells the whole body what to do. Mm -hmm. No matter what the situation is, the head makes the decision. And everybody else in the body follows. So he will make you the head and not the tail. You will be above only and not beneath. <laughs> if you will hack it to the voice of the Lord and commandments of God, which he commands you this day. So there's a, a scripture in Revelation 3.20. He said, the day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. So there are things that you've been listening to. <laughs> you've heard them, but you never really understood them. The spirit never spoke to you. But today he's whispering to you, yeah, that's what he's talking about. The day you hear his voice, harden not your heart. So the day you understand is the day you are required to obey. So if you understand and not, not obey, you are, you are disobedient. That's 2 Corinthians 10, 6. 10, 6. Let me not go there. Let me not go there. Number four, what, I, what do I get from being obedient? Long life. That brings us to Ephesians 6, 1 through 3. Mm -hmm. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Mm -hmm. Honor thy father and mother, mm -hmm. which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Okay, these are for folks who are fighting with their parents. It doesn't matter what your parents have done to you. God brought you into the world through them. They might be rugged, they might be wrong. But they are God's choice. So if you are not speaking to your parents, for one reason or the other, you are shortening your own lifespan. There is no excuse. Look, look, read the Bible. Read the Bible. He says, honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with pro promise. Honor them. No matter what they have done, honor them. If they are doing something wrong to you, report them to God. Don't you take it into your hands to discipline your parents. You are not in the right place. You got it upside down, you'll curse yourself, and you'll shorten your own lifespan. Amen. So if I obey God in honoring my father and my mother, my days will be longer than it. That's what he said. Number five, continuous guidance if I'm in obedience. That brings us to Psalm 119, verse 105. Mm -hmm. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet mm -hmm. and a light unto my path. Okay. So, lamp 
Well, in the United States, you all have electricity all the time. Where I grew up, we don't have electricity all the time. Okay. There is what we call a lantern or a lamp. It's kerosene based. It has a wick and it has a, uh, a little globe around the wick to keep the wind from blowing it up. I think so, in the country we call them co Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, so you carry this thing and it lights your environment to some extent. But if you have a flashlight, it's pointed on your path. Mm -hmm. So each step you take, the flashlight is ahead of you. So you know where you're stepping. So if you are in obedience, in obedience, God will direct your path. Amen. For Amen. every step you take, the word of God will direct you on what to do and the spirit of God will help you. So I put down additional scriptures. We got three minutes to do this. Deuteronomy 6.18. And thou shalt do that which is right uh -huh. and good in the sight of the Lord. Not in the sight of man, but in the sight of the Lord. That it may be well with thee, uh -huh. and that thou mayest go and possess the good land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers. So the things that the enemy is blessing you with is fake. God is the one that can truly bless you. Amen. Amen. He said, thou shalt do what is right and good in God's sight, not in man's sight. Don't listen to the clappings of man. You might be going to hell in a hand basket and don't know it. Because the crowd is saying, yeah, 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 doesn't mean, doesn't mean anything. You perform for the audience of one, call God. Amen. Jeremiah 7, 23. But this thing commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, mm -hmm. and ye shall be my people. And walk ye in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well unto you. So, until I walk in the ways of God is not too well with me. The devil has a right to mess with me. Because the commandments of God are not evil. <laughs> They're not grievous. We already read that. First John 5, 13. So, 5, 3. So, when I obey God, it doesn't cost me anything. It actually brings me more blessings. Joshua 22, 5. But take diligent heed mm -hmm. to do the commandment and the law, mm -hmm. which Moses, the servant of the Lord, charged you to love the Lord your God. And to walk in all his ways, and to keep his commandments, and to cleave unto him, and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. Amen. So, the, what God has bothered to put down in the Bible, none of them hurts us. He says his plans for us are good and not evil, to give us an expected end. But we have to follow the prescriptions. Now, let me let me use... 30 seconds to do this. Electricity is useful to us, right? All the things in the, in the studio is lit by electricity. Mm -hmm. And we pay our electric bill. Mm -hmm. So we have the, electric, uh, the electricity right. to power things. We also pay our water bill. Mm -hmm. But we can't mix the water with the power. Nope. Okay. We have to know when to use power. By itself, we, know, mm -hmm. we have to know when to use water by itself. Mm -hmm. Both of them belong to us, but we can't cross paths or we'll, we'll get hurt. Now, we want to live a godly life and we want God to bless us. We can't mix godliness with sin mm -hmm. to kill us. Right. God said, oh, oh, okay, let me go back to the electricity. I'm almost done. It, I could use electricity as much as I'm paying the bill, but I can't put my feet in water and, and, and put my finger in the socket. Both of them paid for, but they'll kill me. Right. So we got to be careful. You Amen. want God to bless you, you got to be careful. All right, I'm done. Amen. <laughs> you you going to lead them in the sinner's prayer? Yes, and our sinner's prayer is as follows. Lord Jesus, I come to you today as a sinner. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood. Make me a child of God. I believe you died for me, and on the third day you rose again that I might be justified. I believe I'm born again. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, congratulations. You are now saved. Find a Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church, and fellowship with the body of fellow believers. Amen. Amen. If this uh, broadcast has been a blessing to you, uh, KLEK is a not-for-profit organization. We take donations. We take pledges. Whatever you can do to help us while we're helping you with the Word of God. 
And you can go on our website, klekfm.org, click mm -hmm. the green donate button to donate online. Or you can stop by or mail a check or money order to our studio. 1411 Franklin Street, Jonesboro, Arkansas, 72401. Or if you have Cash App, it's dollar sign KLEKFM. And our Facebook shoutouts are to Adrian Everett and Shanquetta Cunningham. Those two, faithful. Mm -hmm. God bless you both. Miss Cunningham, Brother Everett. And uh, Shanquetta is actually going to join us at the top of the hour for community conversations. Very well. And we'll see how tonight at Bible study. Bible study at 6 30, right? Yes. Pray at 6? Yes. All right. Let us pray. Can I pray now? Yes. Father in heaven, we thank you for having expressed your love for us by your commandments and asking us to be obedient that we might be blessed. Thank you for all the listeners. Bless us all. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God right. bless you. This is All Gospel Wednesday. We've got great gospel music all day long. You guys be blessed. This is K L E K 12.5 FM. <laughs>